Hi everyone, I'm here with Erica from Everything Erica. She is a food and lifestyle blogger. I'm really excited to meet her and her little daughter, Alia, and I can't wait to ask her my questions. So, hi Erica! Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So tell me, what do you do and what's your blog? And tell me about you. So my blog is everythingerica.com. Um, so the whole idea behind it is just a really approachable way um, to approach food, to approach mommyhood, to basically approach life. Um, everything I do um, is super attainable. It's like if I can do it, then anyone can do it. That type of thing. I just I just love watching your videos on Instagram and reading your blogs. You're very like day to day, normal, approachable person, friendly. Oh, thank you. I love that thank and you. it's very relatable. Thank you, I appreciate that. When I first started out, I always wanted to make sure I was as relatable as possible because I know so many people out there a lot of times feel like they don't have somebody to turn to for things and not everyone's always honest about everything that happens and so I am honest to a fault and really self-deprecating and for me it was just like a way to put it all out there and the hopes of just, you know, helping one person. You know, that, that was really how it all started. So you also include your amazing little girl in the videos and your pictures. She's super cute. What do you think um, like modern motherhood is today? And you know, you're like I know a lot of women are so afraid to put their kids in the internet and you're super open about it. Can you talk about that and what's to be a mom in 2017? Yeah, I mean, I think being a mom, whether it's 2017 or at the beginning of time, it's always been really difficult. You're subject to judgments, you're subject to a whole host of things. And so when you do what I do on, you know, a little bit larger level like that, um, yeah, you're subject to that stuff. And so it is, it is difficult. Um, I think for me as a mom, um, it's just important to remember that like she is her own person. And so that's why I don't have like a separate account for her. It's why I don't, you know, try to exploit her life. I, I share everything about me and Aaliyah, my daughter, is a part of my life. And so for me, kind of having her, you know, as I, I guess you'd call her a character in my life is, is I think appropriate. Yeah. So what do you wish you told yourself when you were a little girl? That's a really good question. You know, I always say uh, to myself that if I got everything I wanted when I was younger, I'd be completely miserable, right? Because we, we don't really know what we want. So I think if I was to go back and talk to my younger self, I would say just live, just enjoy. Everything's gonna be okay. What do you think femininity is? I think femininity is confidence. I think it's um, really the ability to be in any situation, no matter who you're amongst and just kill it. Um, I think so many times as women, we are maybe put like secondary in different roles or we're looked at as maybe not the best. And I think that like, that's just bullshit. <laughs> I think that's ridiculous. I call it bullshit. And, and when I say, when I see the word femininity, femininity or I, you know, hear someone mention it, like I think of like just killing it and just like breaking all bounds, breaking that glass ceiling and just, you know, kicking ass. So what kind of values are you teaching your daughter and how do you want her to grow up to be? I want my daughter to grow up to be super inclusive, super supportive. I think as women, it is so important for us to support one another. And that's like the number one core value that I'm teaching Aaliyah is just like always be supportive, always help. I always like just want her to be that person that people feel like, wow, she's so nice to everybody. Like that I feel like would be a true testament um, to me as like a mother. It so if there's anything that you could uh, tell the women out there, our audience, um, about any life lesson that you've had or how you live your life and any of the values that you have, what would it be? Thing, especially that rings true more so lately, is we only have so much space, right? And I feel like a lot of times we dwell on negativity and we let that negativity fill up that space and leave very little room for positivity. And my biggest like lesson that I can give to you is keep that negativity out. You are, you are in charge of what comes to you. And if negativity comes to you, you can push that away very easily and fill your heart, fill your soul with positivity. And remember that there's only one you. And I think we get so hung up on trying to be like everybody else and try to figure out how to make ourselves look like this or do that. And at the end of the day, like you are so special because you are you and there's nobody out there in the entire universe that is you. And that's what makes 
you unique. And um, so just spend more time really loving yourself and um, affirming yourself and feeling very special about yourself and fill your world with positivity and you will live a much happier, fuller life. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, like us, uh, comment, uh, send us a message, uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, um, everywhere, Twitter, uh, let us know what you think. I would love to hear from you. Uh, did you like Erica? Wasn't she amazing? Let us know what you think and I can't wait to hear from you. Hashtag to a tribe. This is so oh, high. Hi, yeah, this Sorry. is perfect. Hi everyone, I'm here with Erica from Everything Erica. Uh, she's a butt. Yeah, it is perfect. So good. Yay! Yay! Yay!